Lebanese wine goes back thousands of years. Actually, modern-day Lebanon was the center of Phoenicia. Phoenicians were the Mediterranean traders that helped spread wine culture and trading. So in a way, we have to thank modern Lebanese for wine, I think. A lot of people don't even know that Lebanon produces wine. There's only about 2,000 hectares of vineyards, so we're, just, we're talking maybe over 4,500 acres. If you think about it, that's less than 10% of the vineyard plantings in Napa Valley. So there's not a lot of wine. For thousands of years, Lebanese wine had great reputation. But in the 16th century, modern-day Lebanon kind of fell under control of the Ottoman Empire and a lot of wine production was banned except for monasteries, churches. In the 19th century, the French controlled modern-day Lebanon and they had a major impact on the viticulture. That's why you'll see a lot of Rhone varieties, Grenache, Syrah, Senso, Carignan, and also Bordeaux varieties, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon. 